Joining me now is Lisa Ring, she's just Democrat, uh, running in uh, Georgia's first district against uh, Earl Buddy Carter. Uh, we're gonna talk about him as well in a second. First of all, Lisa, welcome back to Rebel Headquarters. Thank you, it's awesome to be here. All right, great to have you back. All right, so uh, first of all, you got voter suppression in your district. Let's talk about that. It has been rampant in Georgia, also affecting your race. Um, what happened and uh, I'm not sure there's anything that could be done about it, but you tell me. So first, let's start with what happened in, in your district. Well, what we have are uh, really a bunch of different issues going on here in Georgia and uh, individual cases of voter suppression uh, that is happening. Um, mostly, it's going through our voter rolls and uh, eliminating people because of not having an exact match. And that's what the policy is called, exact match. Um, this is able to happen because of the gutting of the Voting Rights Act that happened in 2013, uh, which took away um, the requirement that states, before they make changes to their voting laws, uh, go through the federal government to do so. So Georgia has been able to do whatever they want to do. And they've been removing voters who have not voted. They've been removing voters who have hyphens in their names. Or if there's not an exact match, uh, for instance, if a street is uh, should be spelled out north and there is just an N period instead. Um, so people are being removed for not valid reasons. And uh, we're having to work around uh, all of these barriers. Uh, we were aware of this because we have a history with our Secretary of State of people being purged and for voting to be made harder for some people. So we started early asking people to check their voter registration to make sure they were registered because they weren't receiving notice that they had been taken off the rolls. Uh, but uh, Secretary of State Brian Kemp in Georgia, uh, I mean, he doesn't have a dog in this fight, right? It's not like he's up for election and would want to be fixing his own election, right? Uh, you know, it, it is unbelievable that we are allowing our Secretary of State, who is responsible for our elections, uh, to remain in his position as he is running for governor of the state of Georgia. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, look. People get offended and the mainstream media says, "Oh my God, you're not allowed to say it. Uh, but it's true, Republicans like to cheat. They cheat right out in the open uh, and they rig their own elections and it's outrageous and they never recuse themselves and it's a totally uneven playing field. Uh, so, uh, and they're cheating right in front of our eyes. But I, one more question about that. Uh, how do they know that it will disproportionately affect Democrats? What if it, uh, they accidentally took off half a million of their own voters. How do they know it's gonna affect Democrats more? Well, they're mostly targeting areas uh, where we have most minority voters. Uh, also, the, the having the exact match requirement uh, affects women who have hyphenated names. Uh, oh. Because, yeah, uh, so imagine that, suppressing the votes of women. Um, so, so specifically, they're targeting areas that are mostly minority voters. Uh, I believe it's over 70% of the people who have been affected by these laws are minority voters. You know, they got a, an enormous bag of tricks. They got at least half a dozen tricks that seem benign, like, oh, well, you know, hyphens in your name. Who would think, like, I don't know why they're eliminating the hyphens in the name, but, but who would think that that would have a discriminatory effect? And, uh, and and they all they all do. They pick those things for a reason to have a discriminatory effect because they think minorities, women, etc., vote for Democrats. Um, plus, they're racist and sexist. Anyway, uh, but I had the hyphen one. I had not connected. Oh right, more women have hyphens in their name. I mean, man, they got a bag of dirty tricks. They really, really do. I, I hope people don't let them get away with it. And I know early voting's already begun in Georgia. All right, let, let's talk about. Um, uh, the disproportionate effect of money in politics, which is in a, the biggest dirty trick, if, in a sense. So um, you're a just Democrat, so you have uh, raised, you don't take corporate PAC money. So what's the disparity in fundraising between you and uh, and your Republican opponent who does take corporate PAC money? 
Well, my opponent is one of the richest members of Congress, and he's only been in office for four years, so that says something. Um, he has, I believe, a close to $2 million at this point in his campaign account. Uh, we've raised just over $200,000. Um, we are not taking corporate PAC money. Most of his money is PAC money, and he also takes money from outside of the district. Um, close to 90% of my contributions have been from individuals within my district. Uh, so there is a huge disparity there of uh, campaign funding and who we actually plan to represent when we're in office. Um, yeah, that's about, I, I did the math, it's about a six to one disparity. Um, his megaphone uh, gets to unfortunately be way larger than yours, and it is preposterous that we run elections this way. Um, and, and so, uh, but I mean, Earl Booty Carter wouldn't use his advantage as a congressman and being so wealthy to give himself further tax cuts, would he, Lisa? <laughs> Uh, that is absolutely what he would do. Uh, he would be all over the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, uh, which directly benefits him and all of his friends. Um, yes, absolutely, at the expense of the people of this district, uh, as they are rating our Social Security and our Medicare and cutting programs and cutting benefits, um, they are certainly using that tax break uh, to benefit their families and their friends. So um, they just uh, uh, cut uh, about $2 trillion in taxes for the rich. Um, and what is Buddy Carter's uh, position on Medicaid for those who need health care in the state of Georgia? You know, that's interesting because he says that Medicaid is for the least of among us. Uh, but he says that we shouldn't expand as a state, we shouldn't expand Medicaid to provide health care to rural hospitals and low income people who need it, which says to me that he doesn't care about the least among us. Um, as far as Medicare, um, he toes the party line when it comes to all issues, uh, even when it comes to Social Security and Medicare. He's talking about them as if they are entitlements, which they are actually paid benefits. And the only entitlements that he is allowing are the entitlements to corporations and the extremely wealthy. Uh, okay, so now he's extremely wealthy and he just gave himself a giant tax cut. But he's not gonna argue for higher wages for the people in your district, is he? He believes in free market economy, and he believes that if we let corporations do anything they want to, they will compete and that will drive up wages. He absolutely does not believe in raising the wage, uh, which uh, he also brags about a very low unemployment rate. Uh, the thing is that that's not reflective of the people who have given up looking for work or the people who have taken part-time jobs and jobs with low wages just because that was all that was available to them. Uh, he does not care about the prosperity of all the people in this district, and that is a real problem, and it shows. Now look, kidding aside, I, I want the voters to understand what's at stake here. So since 1978, uh, your productivity as an American worker has gone up well over 200%. You've done a great, amazing job. And your wages have been completely stagnant, 100% flat, okay? So uh, corporate profits are sky high. And all that Earl Buddy Carter and his buddies do in Congress is give themselves tax cuts and their corporate donors tax cuts. Meanwhile, your wages are still flat. This year, uh, wages went up 2.7%. Oh, you think that's good news? Inflation went up 2.9%. So you actually lost ground. So people like Lisa are uncorrupted. Uh, they they have your interest in mind. Buddy Carter is going to go back and give himself more tax cuts, give corporations whatever the hell they want because they bought them. So I, look, I do I have a dog in the fight? Yes, yes I do. I want progressives to win. I want uncorrupted people to win. Uh, and so Lisa Ring is a great great example of that. Look, they hit the Democrats on on things like the military, as if we don't care about the country and we don't care about the military. How about your family, Lisa? Uh, what's your situation there? Uh, well, when it comes to the military, we are a military family, and we are in a district that has four military bases and 76,000 veterans. Uh, 
Uh, we also have homeless veterans in this district. And uh, I have a son who's deployed to Iraq. And we figured out that his pay is actually about $5 an hour. Well, about 18% of military families are receiving food benefits because they don't make enough money to take care of their families. Lisa, that's so I'm sorry, that's super important. I don't want to get past it. Uh, because they just increased defense spending uh, uh, massively. But how much does your son get for being in the military? Less than minimum wage. Less than minimum wage. They say support the troops. They're not supporting the troops. He's risking his life in Iraq. He's getting less than minimum wage. He's getting about five bucks an hour. Where did the money go? To the defense contractors that fund the Republican uh, and sometimes Democrat, but in this case, Republican. Uh, politicians, it is gross. So if you're a member uh, uh, of the, you're a member of the military, you got uh, family members who are in the military, uh, like in that district, understand that the game, shell game that they're playing on you. Uh, so uh, Lisa, thank you for joining us. I want everybody to know what your website is. It's LisaRingForCongress.com. There's only 13 days left, and I know that uh, you know you've got a lot of volunteers. And you've knocked on 35,000 door, doors, made 13,000 phone calls, done 500 community events. We need more. We need more. Lisa Ring for Congress.com uh, so that you could have someone that actually represents you. Thank you for joining us, Lisa. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching this free clip of Rebel Headquarters. Don't forget to become a TYT member today for more exclusive content. Join now at tyt.com/slash join.